So after all this time, what's exciting about day one? Uh, you know, just being back out here with the fellas, uh, a pleasure to put the helmet back on, see what we have this year. Uh, just getting back in the, you know, into the movement, game like speed, and just seeing the chemistry we build and all. Tori, what kind of growth have you seen out of Clay over the last year? Oh, a lot more maturity. You know, he's a uh, more decisive on his calls. Uh, he got a lot more confidence throwing, uh, a lot more confidence sitting in the pocket a little longer, and I just feel like you know he's just grown overall everywhere. You know, within the leader. Uh, he built the role, you know, to call out other players and you know just keep us on top of our game. Coach says he's showing his personality. What is, what does that mean? How does he show his personality? Is he uh, giving you crap about music? Is he giving you jokes in the huddle like Joe Montana or what? Oh, you know, just the passion for the game. You know, he he makes sure everybody is alive. You know, make sure nobody's dead. Um, comes to the huddle, he might crack a couple jokes before we go out there and break. Um, he makes sure everybody know what they're doing. He may ask, he may ask, is everyone good on the routes and stuff, even though he don't need to, but it's just something that we, we like to hear from our quarterback, and he just want to make sure that everybody's dialed in. That's what Montana did once, a famous thing, a drive. He said, hey, it's John Candy. And everybody just starts laughing, and they win the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, he, he's been on to that right there. Okay. And we all, we all enjoy that, you know, just keep everybody in the one scene and keep everybody close. Tori, you've seen how this offense worked at, in Nevada, like when Cole Turner was a huge threat at tight end. Could the addition of Dallin and Vince mean to you guys on the outside? Oh yeah, it's going to mean a lot. You know, they're going to eat up the middle. Um, it's going to it's going to drive the defense crazy. You know, uh, good tight ends will, you know, of course, be a headache for the defense. You got to worry about another big, uh, fast receiver type guy, and you know they, they could even put their hand in the dirt and block. And that's just something that we we really need it, and we're we're happy to have those additions to the team that could for sure help us out on the outside and even in the slot. And you know, just adding them is gonna is gonna make it easier for the quarterbacks in the run game. You know, the defense got to play honest to every position now. Do you tell them that they have to be good because you're sick of seeing a safety over the top? Uh nah, they they kind of they kind of came and said that, yeah. and they they make jokes about it, and I make jokes to them about it, and you know, they're they're happy to be here, so they they come out and they're like, how about I get doubled this this time and you <laughs> you get a one on one, and then yeah. we we kind of flip off flip sides telling each other, but it's it's nice having them, you know. How much did you do? Did you use last season as you know, motivation this summer and kind of going into camp, just not wanting to repeat you know, three and nine? Uh, you know, just just watching the film and seeing the scores. You know, uh, seeing the score every game, uh, seeing the score throughout the year. It's it's a huge motivational boost. You know, you don't you don't want to go into the locker room or to into the weight room and see the scores of every game that you lost, and then you don't even want to see the scores to the games that you won because you know it could have been a lot better, a lot cleaner, a lot more smooth, and you know just seeing that that drives everybody crazy and and it builds a fire under us and. We're like we don't want to go back to that team. Of course, we had a lot of changes last year, and and it wasn't it wasn't changes that we really wanted, and it was something it was some hard to adjust to. But we all made a commitment to you know everybody lock in. Um, once once we once we start and put these pads on, there's there's no uh, backing out of this. I asked coach what he was going to challenge you on this year, and he just said NFL draft pick. That that's what he envisions. How much is that going to be on your mind as you work this season? Uh, you know, I'm looking at it as I got two years left. So we don't know yet. Um, I just want to go out there and perform. Uh, just want to win in the most unselfish way. If that's me getting probably, what, two catches a game and we end up with the win, that's perfectly fine by me. Um, I've had players come to me and say, how do you how do you do this, how do you do that? And I'm happy to help them. And I even go to some of the young guys and, and some of the older guys and tell them, you know, there's going to be some games where I'm going to be off. I need you guys to lift me up. I can't always try to lift everybody up. And that's just something that they all agreed on. And I'm happy that I got those guys behind me to tell me that. And just going out there, I just want to, you know, just do what I could do. I can only control what I can control. And I just want to win the, the most unselfish way. Jay's talked a lot about his relationship with you and how much it means to him. You mentioned that you know there have been bigger schools that have tried to sway you away. What does that relationship to, with Jay mean to you, and, and why do you stay with him? Uh, you know his passion to win. Uh, he was the only, he was the one who gave me a shot at, at Nevada out of high school. So you know I was like if this if this man see that potential in me, and he put his you know his trust and money on me, I, I feel like I have to reward him. And you know I. I always told myself I can't let someone down who has so much trust in me, and and that's one person who trusted me. And I, I told him, you know, you gave me a shot, and I, you won't regret it. And you know, 
he's more than just a football coach. He checks up on us uh, outside of football, asks how we're doing with, with our life, family, and that's just something that you need from a head coach, not just position coach, because position coaches do that anyways, but from a head coach, you, you want to hear from the head coach, and it's nice to hear that. And, like, you know, just just small little check-up, like, like, how you doing, how's the mental, how's how school, yeah. So it's not just always football, and his, his quote always stuck with me when he said he wants us to leave better men than football players. So that's just something that always stuck with me. What had you most excited about day one? Ah, uh, putting, putting the helmet on, you know, and, and seeing seeing the new the new uh, the new guys and the new additions that we got. Uh, of course, I'm excited to see the defense because we got a lot of returners and it's going to be a scary a scary defensive core for uh, this season. So offense in the Mount West and Pac-12, good luck. Uh, you know, it's just nice seeing how much they've grown together. Uh, again, used to bank system and all that. Uh, you see Jack out there, Mo, Chiggy, they all embracing that leadership role and, and even bringing the, the young guys along. And they just look great. You know, on the offensive side, we're getting our O-line together. Quarterbacks look more dialed in. The receivers, we're trying to crisp up our routes. The tight ends are doing what they're, you know, what they're doing. We all look good. We all just trying to be on one, you know, one accord and just have a, you know, a great, you know, great practice uh, day at a time. With all the new faces, is there a sense of urgency to try to get everybody on the same page uh, rather than later? Yeah, yeah, we, we try to we try to preach that now. Um, we've been doing this since summer, so a, a lot of the new faces and the young guys are already there, and out they sh they're like, I won't say way past what we thought they were going to be, and of course it's it's a little bit of a little hiccups and stuff, and that's going to be natural. But I feel like everybody is is a step a step further than what we thought, and that's a that's a good jump. Troy, I was going to say you were part of good Nevada teams when you came here. How much closer is this thing getting to what you know a good Norvell team looks like? Because you were on a couple. Oh yeah, we're, we're right there. You know, we we got we got a couple uh, stuff that we need to improve on, but like again, it's just the first day of fall camp, mm -hmm. and er, like I said, everybody is is improving with day day by day, and I feel like we're really really close to becoming a great team and. The, the air raid, the run game, the defense, it, it's going to be its going to be something to watch. As a wide receiver room, what are some of the things that need improvement over the course of the camp and how are you going to get there? Uh, I'd probably just say uh, mental focus, uh, you know, going out there knowing everybody's alignment, assignment. Um, you know, there's going to be some times where we have a, we're not on the same page with the quarterbacks, and that's just something that we got to dial in and, and you know, communicate with the quarterbacks about. And that's something that we tried to work on and we're still working on that now. It's, been improvements improving since last year and in, in the summer so that's a good note and you know just going out there and make sure we have everything full speed you know leave leave no leave no money on the field that's what we say in our room leave no money and as there's more guys coming into the room um, just what what does that do for the competition level and how is that going to make you guys improve as a, as a wide receiver room? Uh, you know, it's, it's pushing everybody to the top of their game. Of course, last year we were limited guys, so you, you see a couple people that slacked off and stuff. And you know, I, I went into the meeting. I went into the meeting uh, the other day, and I told them, you know, everything's free. Um, my position's not free. And I, if one of y'all feel like you guys could take it, I would want you guys to, you know, to take it. You know, everybody has to push everybody to their limit. And right now, nobody has a, a real starting role yet. So. This fall camp is a, a real testing grounds for who's going to be a starter. So whoever you've seen starting today might not start tomorrow, and whoever starts next week might not start in, in the game. And that's just something that, that shows we're always competing, and we all know what we're here to do. So there's no there's no arguing. There's no, no bad talk. We all shook hands, and we was like, best of luck to you, and we're all going to go out there and compete. And that's just something that we all love. Thanks, Tori. Thanks, Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you.